Do you have an autoimmune disease? If so, you are not alone. Autoimmune diseases affect more than 45 million Americans and are a growing health problem in the United States. Natural foods and lifestyle changes can be your greatest allies in reducing the symptoms of autoimmune diseases. If you want to know more, stay tuned to PARS Health TV. Number 9. Adjust your diet. Since inflammation is a major cause of autoimmune disease, changing your diet to include anti-inflammatory foods, while avoiding inflammatory foods, is an effective step to healing autoimmune disease naturally. Some of the best diets for autoimmune diseases include pasture-raised, grass-fed meat, organic vegetables, organic berries and other healthy fruits, avocado, olive oil, coconut oil, and other healthy fats. Also, avoid inflammatory foods such as gluten, dairy, alcohol, refined sugar, processed foods, GMOs, artificial flavors or sweeteners, and trans fats. Number 8. Strengthen your gut. If you have a poor gut, changing your diet may have an effect on your autoimmune disease symptoms. Your digestive tract acts as an immune barrier to ward off infections and other invaders. When the lining of your digestive tract becomes permeable, a condition known as leaky gut, the barrier breaks down, allowing bacteria and undigested food to enter your bloodstream. This causes your immune system to attack these invaders, potentially leading to an autoimmune disease. Prebiotics can help increase the growth of good bacteria in the gut, while collagen-rich foods like bone broth and supplements like L-glutamine can help restore the lining of the digestive tract. Controlling infections such as SIBO is also important in autoimmune diseases. Your microbiome loves prebiotics. Prebiotics are mainly soluble fibers and resistant starch that are not digested by intestinal enzymes. But they are exactly what our belly friends need to thrive and grow. And the more you eat these good prebiotic foods, the less likely the bad bacteria will take over because they won't be able to digest the prebiotics. Prebiotic foods include onions, garlic, leeks, dandelion leaves, which can be used in salads, asparagus, bananas, and apples. Number 7. Get tested for food allergies and toxicity. A functional medic can test you for celiac disease and other undiagnosed food allergies and sensitivities that can cause an inflammatory response in your body. It can also detect heavy metals and mold toxicity, both of which can cause severe inflammation. Number 6. Drink green tea. Green tea works wonders when it comes to inflammation and is an effective food for treating autoimmune diseases. Tea is rich in a compound called epigallocatechin 3 gallate EGCG, which improves symptoms and reduces pathology in some animal models of autoimmune diseases. Dysregulation of T-cell activity is a key factor in the progression of autoimmune inflammatory diseases, and green tea significantly affects T-cell activity, especially their differentiation, thus positively influencing autoimmunity. Number 5. Eat foods that contain polyphenols. You and your microbiome depend on plant compounds called polyphenols. These are the dark pigments found in berries, chocolate, and coffee beans that can manipulate your genes and those in your microbiome to improve many markers of inflammation. Grape seed extract, pycnogenol, a natural antioxidant derived from the bark of French maritime pine, turmeric, and green tea extract are excellent sources of polyphenols and a natural remedy for autoimmune diseases. You can also eat a piece of dark chocolate, at least 72%, every day. Extra virgin olive oil is also an excellent source of polyphenols. To stay up to date with our latest videos, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell button to get some interesting stuff and upcoming videos. Number 4. Broccoli. Like other sulfur-rich foods, broccoli, radishes, onions, cabbage, and kale, Broccoli is high in a powerful antioxidant called glutathione, which can help reduce autoimmune disease. This is key to suppressing chronic inflammation and preventing oxidative stress. Research shows that glutathione levels can be reduced by as much as 50% in patients with autoimmune diseases. Number 3. Exercise but rest. Because exercise has been shown to help reduce inflammation, regular exercise can help reduce symptoms of the autoimmune disease while improving physical and mental health. However, the body needs proper rest to repair and regenerate, so make sure you get enough sleep.
Number 2. Get enough vitamin D. Get your vitamin D levels checked. If your vitamin D level is below normal, continue taking vitamin D to reach at least 70 nanograms slash ml and preferably 100 nanograms slash ml. According to Dr. Stephen Gundry, most people should get at least 5,000 international units, IU, of vitamin D3 per day, but those with autoimmune diseases should start with 10,000 IU per day. Although it is a common fact that such doses can cause unwanted side effects and toxicity. Number 1. Avoid foods containing gluten and lectins. According to Dr. Stephen Gundry, some of the biggest food traps often involve so-called healthy foods that people never really want to eat. As hard as it is to believe, he says, some plants shouldn't be eaten because they came to earth first. So they protect themselves by inserting proteins called lectins into their leaves and seeds. Gluten is by far the most well-known lectin, but what people don't know is that it actually has a fairly minor effect, and most of the nutrients consumed that aren't gluten-containing foods include lower quality lectins. Half of his patients with autoimmune disease previously avoided gluten but did not fully recover until other lectins were removed from their daily diet. For example, beans, peanuts, lentils, eggplant, fruits, quinoa, corn, potatoes, tomatoes, peppers, etc., are rich in lectins. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, 20-30% of food poisoning cases in the United States are linked to lectins in undercooked beans. So it seems some plants really don't want their seeds eaten. Cooking beans reduces the number of lectins, although some remain. So ask your doctor about a diponectin and TNF-alpha levels in addition to a vitamin D test. If any of these are elevated, a diponectin greater than 16, TNF-alpha 2.9 or greater, Consider avoiding foods that are primarily lectins in the future. Autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and thyroid disease are painful, disruptive, and often devastating. Basically, they all have one thing in common, an out-of-control immune response associated with systemic inflammation. A proper diet can help reduce pain and heal autoimmune diseases. In general, avoid caffeine, sugar, alcohol, grains, dairy, and red meat and focus on fruits, veggies, healthy fats, and fish. Please give us feedback in the comment section. Kindly like, comment, share, and subscribe for more quality videos. Thanks for tuning in. And please share our videos with your friends to support our team. Wishing you a great day.